my distinct pleasure and honor to welcome my one-time bitter rival, then teammate, then rival, now one of my best friends, Patrick Ewing. Patrick, thanks for the time today. Hey, it's always great to see you, Chris. And yes, we had we have had a lot of lot of tough games. There's been times when we almost come to fisticuffs, but we we have managed to stay friends through all of it. What do you think when you see today's NBA players? Like I was, I do the Warrior games. We're, we're on Warrior pregame, <laughs> so we were playing Dallas last week, and Chris Stapp Porzingis has Steph Curry on him. He's in the paint, and he runs out to the three-point line. How does that sit with you? <laughs> well, you know what? I don't. I don't have any problem with those guys shooting threes. But if 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 I got uh, Steph Curry on me, I'm not going to the three-point line. I'm gonna post this little butt right deep in the paint, throw me the pop, <laughs> and turn around and dunk on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> what are you seeing? What's your scout report on James Wiseman? Well, you know, I saw him play a little bit uh, in, when he was with Penny. And I've seen him play a little bit with with, uh, with Golden State. You know, he's young, he's athletic. He Right now, they need him to uh, play defense, block shots, use that, his athleticism. I see him, you know, stepping out and hitting the three. So, you know, they, they, they have to play him. To me, for him to be great, he, he just has to continue to work at his game, continue to work at, work at his craft, and just don't fall in love with the three. You have to be able to do both. You have to be able to shoot the three if you if you have that ability, but also know like you were talking about earlier. If I have Steph Curry on me, I'm not I'm not going out to the three point line. He has to know when to shoot the three or when to post up. And I think that's that's the biggest thing bigs in this era have to learn. Give me a little scouting report on Draymond Green. I love his game. I love his game. He's undersized. He talks trash. He reminds me of Oak in, in, in a lot of ways. Um, you know, he, he, he's a point center, you know, like your guy Nelly, you know, would want him to be the point center, which he is. He, he brings the ball down, he makes passes, he, he defends guys. I mean, he's a true student of the game. I, I, I love him. I love his game. I would have loved to be, uh, have the opportunity to play with him. There, there, I sent you something on your phone, a picture of Mitch Tim and myself with you in the center. For, for the Bay Area, goes to, was there ever a chance Patrick Ewing was, was going to join Run CFC? Oh, definitely. It definitely was a chance. You know, uh, you know. That, imagine all all of us uh, playing on one team. They talk about uh, these guys teaming up. We we would have we would have won uh, a lot of titles. Uh, but it, it almost came to pass. But it didn't. And I I I, uh, I was a Nick for for 15 years. Um, but you know it is what it is, Chris. Let's talk. Let's talk real quick about the '92 Olympics. I always say it was amazing how this group of superstars became a team quickly, both on and off the court. Like I said, I got my. I see you right. Me and you right it. there, bro. Right. You know, you and I, we were already friends. Michael and I were already friends. Charles and I was already friends. You know, the rest of the guys, I knew we piled around a little bit, but that the whole experience was great. You and I, those guys was going to go play golf. You and I was always going to the gym, working on our game. The fact that we we did it and we did it with class. Every most of the European the Europeans who came after the the the, uh, the ninety two uh, Dream Team, they be, they started playing basketball because of us. You know, we changed the, the the way they they looked at sports. All of those guys wanted to be professional soccer players, or they played soccer. But because of the the way that we played, the uh, the way that we carried ourselves, uh, it it changed a lot of people's thinking and want and minds of, of of the the sport that they wanted to play. But you know, it was a it was a great experience. The practices were a hundred percent much better than the games. We kicked, we kicked butts and took names, but in practice it was heated. Michael, Magic, Larry, you, me, Carl, David. It, 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 it was a great experience. Patrick, and we took, you know, you, you faced those incredible Bulls teams when you were with the Knicks, right? Just, just right. an incredible dynasty. The Warriors had a similar five year run, five finals in, in a row, right? With, with incredible teams. What, what do you, where do you think they fit? Compare historically speaking, you know that five-year run with Steph, Clay, KD, Draymond. 
What do you think they fit in, in historically? I mean, they're right up with all the all the great teams. You know, they have they you know not too many guys that are able to make it to the to the the finals as much uh, five five you know five straight times. They 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 have some guys that they bought in. They played together as a team. Uh, they didn't care who got the the accolades. They they just went out there and tried to uh, do the best they can to to try to dominate. You know, Steph, like Michael, changed the game in terms of you know you have guys shooting those deep shots and doing the things that he did. Michael changed it by all the dunking that he was doing. And Steph, you know, I, you know, it's funny. I went to uh, Georgetown, played his played his school when they were in co- when they were in college, and my son was on Georgetown team, so I went to the game. And he single-handedly kicked our, our butts. And I still didn't think he was going to be the, the player that that he he's become. You know, I take my hat off to him. He's, 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 he's definitely a student of the game. He's worked at his craft. And, you know, he has those guys playing, uh, playing together, uh, you know, playing together as a team. Hey, but then a few years back before you came to Georgetown, I'm coaching. I see Patrick Ewing Jr. on the bench, man. Yelling at me. <laughs> Whoa! Boy, is this like this the reminds old... you of the old days? Wow, we're going back in time. Yeah, you and him got into some kind of some kind. Of, everybody <laughs> was calling me and said, "Wait, I mean, it's Georgetown and, and, and St. John's again." I see your son out there. Him and Chris get ready to mix it up. <laughs> I couldn't take on you, man. I go for the, <laughs> the, the smaller guy, man. <laughs> <laughs>